<laughs> Broadcasting live, hi from the Canadian Rockies. This is Two Cousins Drinking. And today we're Two Cousins Drinking Havana Club Añejo Reserva Rum. Muy bien! With our guest, Obadiah. <laughs> we have not had rum since the days of Moose. It's been years. It's been years. Can we admire the color? The color. This particular Cuban rum. Cuban rum. It looks like Havana Club. Rich Amber Hue. I don't no. think I can actually say it better than Rich Amber Hue. Hmm. Let me start smelling this. Guys. Well, it's fascinating. Um, more booze on this nose yeah. than I would expect. Although at a $25 a bottle, um, maybe I should expect <laughs> as much booze. I saved the good stuff for the guests. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Cuba. You cannot get this in this country of the United States where you're from, not where we're filming in Canada. Safely away from the laws Hence of... the beard. So I get, I'm trying to be serious, a little rubbing okay. alcohol here. Yeah. Is it, it's Chima Chimera? Carmel. Camaro, I smell. Camaro. <laughs> 78 Camaro. <laughs> I actually do now. It's an Iraq Z blend. I, I smell <laughs> sort of an artificial leather, cheap cologne. I don't get the leather. I get the cheap leather cleaner from the discount car wash. Shall we dive in? Shall we, Mr. Guest? We shall. Cheers. Cheers. That is smooth. Oh. Yeah, that mm. is really good. The finish was the finish is sharp. I'm shocked, surprised, pleasantly surprised. Ooh, it does not taste like it smells. The lingering is caramel and cocoa is what I get. I get uh, orange wow. and chocolate together. It's so it's an aged rum. I don't think they officially tell you what the age is on it. 40% ABV. That's what you're all worried about. It's illegal to uh, bring this into the United States to sell it. As mm -hmm. a tourist, you can go to another country and you can bring it in for personal use or gifts. Greg. Hey, I'm JP. I guess oh, Danny. Danny. Hello. Danny. We found Ooh. him. The internet wants to see him, so he's here. Greg and I film very often, and every time we film, Danny finds out when and where we're filming and begs to be a guest. Now you're here. Is it everything you hoped it would be? Well, so some not on vacation when you're filming, so yes. They claim it was a, originally a secret recipe for the maestro of the distillery. This personal Ooh, stop. This is fantastic. I, I'm not a big fan of rum. Head maestro is Don Navarro. Don Since Navarro. he makes rum, is he Rondon? Don Rondon? Don, 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 Don. I don't know if he deserves a... Does he deserve it? Sorry, dude. Just Blue Just doesn't care. <laughs> Gentlemen, for, for this has nothing to do with rum! Coyote pee. Coyote pee. This is better than coyote pee. Coyote pee. I, I will say that, that officially. Yeah, I'll go on the record with that. Greg? Oh, John. Do you want to go into detail into the legal uh, ramifications of Bacardi trying to steal the Havana Club name Let's from it. Havana Club? The Bacardi family originally was a Cuban rum making family. I had always heard that they were kicked out when the revolution took. Uh, Bacardi was? Well, they ran away. They ran away when the run away. When the Cuban, when run the away. Communists took control. Everybody Bacardi apparently is still bitter over running away from Cuba. Bacardi has Bacardi started. is very bitter. They've started making their own hey, ha uh, Havana Club using the same logo, the red circle Havana Club. Bacardi yes. has stolen that and tried to use it uh, everywhere else in the world except for Cuba. Havana Club has said. That's fine, then we will start making a Bacardi oh, and did. selling it in other countries. That's awesome. Uh, on this battle, I would side with the communists. I would, yeah. As a YouTube drinker, I am pro adult diapers. Oh. I'm gonna, I still say on the second oh. bank, the alcohol is left. No, I don't smell the alcohol as much. I, I start doing this in my second drink. That's why Greg likes guests. It gets me uh, someone in between us. I start getting touchy. <laughs> Uh, Don't touch the beard. Oh, that was oh, Greg, John. I have, uh, communism falls. 
Why am I calling you John? I don't know. You've been doing that for hours. Serious question. Has this changed your view of this type of drink? Rum as a general thing, has it changed for you? Yes. I don't think about it. This is delicious. Ooh, this yeah. is excellent. John? Going into this, I've had this before. Oh. And I had it with so much just Coke, rum and Cokes. That that's all I could think of in my head. Not Coke, I didn't Coke. Cola. <laughs> Not cola. All I could think of was cocaine when I saw Say hello to my little friend! I was ready to say... And some rum. Why did you invite me? Because it's your house. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> put, put the rum in it. Is, you let us film in your... Because you let us film in your garage. I wish I had some other cousin to do the show with. I came up with the title Two Cousins Drinking, and then I was stuck with Greg, who's not here. Havana Club was originally a capital I can't say anything because I'm hiccuping. Yeah. And I'm du done. <laughs> I hiccup again, sorry. <laughs> With super fan number seven. Oh, really? Super fans are very hard. Uh, it's a very, They're very hard. Yes. Very okay, hard. Well, you could be harder than seven. Okay, Danny, we agree. You could be our bigger fan. Danny, if this if this rum were a pirate, which pirate would it be? <laughs> we're a pirate. <laughs> Jack Sparrow. <laughs> the market. <laughs> This is a very, very, very good rum. Mm. I'm gonna three berries. That's blue. a lot for me. So <laughs> blue, blue. Our cameraman, the cameraman, the guy right there. Oh, hi, blue. It's the end of the world. Yeah. Okay. Resources are depleted. Yeah. You have a bottle of rum to trade. Yeah. What do you trade it for? This? Yes. That entire bottle of rum, I would trade two weeks worth of food. How far after the apoc apocalypse is this? <laughs> Can I get a running car if I wanted? Imagine a world, people in all rum. All you're rum. not a big fan of rum. Doubled in price. This particular rum is still available for free, but you have to fight a 27-year-old Don Knotts <laughs> to acquire it. 27-year-old Don Knotts? Yeah. Every time you want a bottle of it, <laughs> will he be speaking while I fight him? Yes. Oh, let's see, that's hard. Dunn oh God! Holy Jesus! You fight him, incapacitate him. Yeah. You don't have to kill him. Twenty-five-year-old Don Knotts. Um, it's, it's the Don Knotts Thunderdome. <laughs> Ooh, my hands are like the weapons. <laughs> Whatever the question is, the answer is I will fight Don Knotts. Don Knotts. I would fight Don Knotts just for the comedy aspect, not for the booze. I would just fight Greg, him because I'd have a story to tell my grandkids. If, Back in on twenty-seven, I fought Don Knotts. If the question is, there's world peace. We don't have to buy anything or work. Everything is free. Would you fight Don Nods for a glass of rum? Yes, I'll fight Don Nods for a glass of rum. Great premise of the movie Hunger Games. It's like they, they have to fight Don I would Nos. fight 20 Don Nods in the Hunger <laughs> yes. Games. Daniel Son, what celebrity, living, dead, or fictional would you drink this with? And why? Uh, who played Adam Gomez? What's his name? Raul Julia. Oh, I would drink this with Raul Julia. The 90s. Raul Julia. Of, is it Julia? I just won everything. What room in a hotel? What room in a hotel does this room remind you of? Um, this is not the presidential suite. No. This is this is definitely one of the rooms that has a jacuzzi in it. Ooh. What kind of drunk does this make you? What kind of drunk? Yeah. Um, I'm not naked in the back pumpkin, but I'm feeling good. Blue, have, you, have you learned how to bleep yet? For 25 bucks, this is a five star yeah. rum. It's all about. I don't care for rum. This is delicious. <laughs> there you go. Cheers. Salute.